Morning everyone. It is cold out there and it's cold in here. I've been shivering most of the morning and maybe you are too. I hope you're staying warm. Um, minus 45 apparently with the wind chill. The coldest January 23rd ever in Sudbury. Now those of you who know me know I don't like winter too much to begin with and I certainly don't like these sub-zero temperatures. Uh, especially when uh, the fireplace at our house clicked off somehow in the middle of the night. So we woke up and we were a little chilly. Then I went outside this morning to start my car which was plugged in and it did not come anywhere close to starting. So that was how my morning started and I was a little frustrated. But in the, in the midst of my frustration, you know, I was reminded that, you know, I get frustrated about a car that won't start sometimes or a, a chilly house or office. But there are many people in our community that don't even have the luxury of a car to start or a house to warm up with a fireplace. Uh, there are a number of homeless people in our community, those in great poverty across our nation and around the world. And I thought this morning it would be a good time to uh, just kind of give a shout out and an invitation to a fundraising event that I'm pretty excited about coming up in exactly one month from today, February 23rd. It's called the Coldest Night of the Year event. It's, uh, it's being put on by the Samaritan Center as a major fundraiser for the Samaritan Center in uh, reaching the needs of the poor and impoverished and the homeless in our community. And what it involves is simply putting a, a team together. And uh, you can thank me later, but I volunteered us to put a team in. Kevin Service, uh, the executive director of Samaritan Center, and I got together recently. And I said, yep, yeah, Valley View's in. So, uh, hey, no compulsion, but uh, I've signed myself up and I've signed our church community up to be a part of this fundraiser. What it is, it's a walk. It's a 5K walk in support of uh, raising awareness and funding for homelessness and poverty in our community. It'll take place on, again, February the 23rd. So if you go to the website, coldestnightoftheyear.org, uh, you can find our team, Valley View Community Church. And this is not just for church members. You have friends or family that might want to jump on board, either to participate or to contribute. It's just a matter of getting people to pledge and give those participating some money in support of this. You know, Our goal is to raise uh, $2,000 as a team. And I think the goal overall is $40,000. I think that's certainly doable. I think we're one of 13 teams signed up so far. So, you know, pray about how you can contribute, whether you want to be on the team or just throw a few bucks to myself or someone on our team. And let's raise some awareness and some funds because, hey, the least of our worries on a day like this is not starting a car or getting our, our fireplace going. Uh, there are those that don't even have shelter and we need to be, uh, as, as the extension of Christ's love, you know, meeting the needs of those in our community so it's cold bundle up stay warm and uh, let's uh, let's come together and pool our resources for a worthy cause the coldest night of the year fundraiser take care guys we'll see you soon have a great day